the New Testament is full of so many contradictions and so many mistakes is because the followers of Jesus, as you just said, were complete ignorant Jews. And he described his students who do not know Aleph Bet. And when you come to ignorant people that cannot be accepted to any yeshiva and ask them to falsify a book claimed to be from God, what do you expect? Every page has so many mistakes. Believe me, I have such a list here. I did not tell you maybe 10% of the things I wanted. Not that I thought that I'll be able to do everything in two, three hours, but I... Only... Yosef, you got a big problem there. I, I'll I, tell you what your problem is. What? The problem is... If these disciples of Jesus, the ones who wrote the New Testament, and granted they didn't graduate from any yeshivas, and they were unlearned, but if they were so laughable, how is it that Christianity took off? How is it that even many of the Pharisees followed what these foolish people were teaching, unless they were convinced that something miraculous, unless they were convinced that the hand of God was involved. I'm glad you said it. And from your words, I'm going to prove to you that Judaism is the only valid religion. From what you just said, when I come to a, to a crowd and I try to convince them to be my students, and I start to gathering all the homeless people of the street, as he did, as you know, those ignorant that do, know, and do not know anything anyway, and gather them to be students and have himself a cult. When I come and this is my goal, why would what kind of religion I'll design to these people? An easy religion to practice that everybody will jump and say, hey, we with you, a hundred percent, everything is allowed. Or I will design a religion that is so complicated, so difficult to keep. What will be an easier job for me? To come and tell them, for instance, one of the times the student told him, uh, uh, you told us that we're not allowed to violate any rules of the Torah. So how can you eat bread without washing your hands, without netilat yadayim? They asked him, those ignorant challenged him. So he said, he started to curse the rabbis. But in another page, as I mentioned before, he told his students, Make sure you follow the instructions of the servants of Moshe, the sages, because they have us say that you must listen to the rabbis, those are the ones who keep the Torah of Moses alive. And when the student asked you why you yourself don't listen to them, he started to curse them. Or when he told them that they're not allowed to violate the rules of the Sabbath, the next day a student came and they wanted to cut wheat on the Sabbath, and he, told, and he started to see that they're getting angry at him. So he told them, I allow you today to cut weeds. Why? I am the master of the Sabbath. Come on. You just say in the book of Matthew, as I mentioned before, no one is allowed to contradict one little law. And if he does, he is going to be cursed yes, by sir. God. He is going to be cursed yes, by sir. God. I'm sure and they're... just allow them to violate one of the most important rules of God. See, I, I, 